wake me up there. Careful, lady. You're going to wake up a sexy sleeping giant. Perhaps I'll be Reginald Appleby, an English gentleman in town for a polo match. Phil. Or honorable businessman from Hong Kong. I'm kind of wrecking it. It's not a big deal, Claire. I just train tigers for a living. Do no. Are these rose petals? Yes, to commemorate our love. I have to settle. Well, your mom might think so, but a lot of people think I'm a catch. No, the case. I, I was this close to nailing it, and then my client gets scared and settles. I'm sorry. Maybe you'd like a chocolate. Notice that I have not eaten any of the chocolates. There were two levels. You know it, and I know it. This is so frustrating. I had one of the greatest closing arguments of all time, all about the big government rolling over the little guy. And I even had this great moment at the end where I would point to the state seal and I'd say, shame! Oh, that's what you were doing in the shower. I was a little worried. Um, that's Manny. I said we would watch him tonight. I hope you don't mind. I didn't know you were going to be going through all this. No, it's fine. It might be nice to have him around. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Hi, Manny. The universe is cold and loveless. Uh-oh, bad Valentine's Day? I went for the goal, Fiona Gunderson. I poured my heart and soul into a palm, left it on our desk. I even burned the edges to make it look fancy. And she didn't like it? Oh, she loved it, but this kid, Dirkus, told her he wrote it. Well, Manny, well, why didn't you just tell her the truth? She was already gone, and she's on a date with him at my favorite restaurant, Great Shakes. How do you know all this? I invited her in the poem. Right after the line of, my love is deeper than the Great Lakes. Okay, well, this is unacceptable. Oh, well, here we go. No, it's not that big of a deal. This is what we're going to do. We're going to shoot over to Great Shakes. We're going to get a table. Manny can...